Yo, what's good guys? Peter here. We're back with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. As you guys can see, we're back on 2K19. We're in the park right now. And today is finally the day that I reveal all of my animations on my center. You guys have been asking for this for a long time, pretty much since I've been making videos with my center, you know, my post score. So many of you guys have been asking, you know, how I get all these animations, how I get greens, and basically what all my animations are on this build. So this is going to be all the best animations for big men in NBA 2K19. Honestly, you don't even have to be a big man. Just if you're not a dribbler, this is gonna be the best jump shot, the best post moves, the best dribble moves, the best dunks, pretty much every single animation in the game. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Hopefully this helps you guys. Don't forget to drop a like down below. As always, we're going for 2,000 likes. Let's get right into it. So as you guys can see, of course, we're on my post score, shot creating post. I'm 88% to 93, so I'm about to have two 93s. Of course, you know, we've got every badge in the game. This is a really toxic build. Yeah, so if you ever get tired of stretches shooting over you, I would recommend making this build. You know, I'll leave the link in the description. But like I said, these are the best animations for pretty much every single player that is not a dribbling archetype. So, you know, I dropped the best dribble moves a couple months ago for my play sharp. Obviously, those are for like speed boosting and doing all these dribble moves, but you can still dribble with non-dribbling archetypes with these animations. So starting off, we have the jump shot, set shot 13. This is the thing, when you get past seven feet, you know, you're a center, fast jump shots don't really work. Like base 11 is not the best base once you get past there because of the way the timing works. You guys can see I was using base 11, you know, I was using some 11 jump shots right there with this player, but I knew something was wrong and I was talking to a lot of people with bigger players. They said, use set shot 13. You will be able to shoot with any archetype. Doesn't matter if you're a post score like me or you're a glass king or whatever. This is the best shot. Now this is not in the custom jump shot creator. This is plain old set shot 13. I bought it straight from the animation store. Best jump shot for every center. Free throw, Stephen Curry, I don't play much pro, I'm a rec, so. I like this free throw though, you know, it's really fast. Dribble pull-ups, normal four. I don't do these too much. When I get my double takeover, I probably will, but this is still by far the best pull-up in the game. Even if you do it on accident, you know, it's still good. Spin jumpers, Stephen Curry, barely do those. Hop jumpers, big, I don't do hop jumpers on this. But now we're into the post moves, the big part of this build. Now, even if you're not a post scorer, you're definitely gonna wanna put these on. Like I've seen glass cleaners, athletic finishers, all of these other builds still be successful with post moves as long as they have the right animations on so my post fade is fade three super easy to time it creates a lot of space really simple there's so many animations you can get out of this matter of fact these animations are going to help you a lot but if you guys want me to make like a full tutorial of like how to be a toxic post scorer drop a like and let me know in the comments because all of these are basically packages right you know there's definitely more than one post fade animation post hooks hook three i don't really do too many post hooks sometimes i do them on accident but this one has worked out well for me you know i make a lot of contested ones hop shots now this hop shot is so toxic. You can literally start on the block and end up behind the free throw line with this hop shot. It is hop shot 10. A lot of you guys are wondering, you know, how I get so many greens on hop shots or how I make heavily contested hop shots. This animation right here creates a lot of space and it's really hard to contest because it creates so much space. Not only do you have to somehow get up there and contest, but you have to jump at the perfect time to even get a contest on this. Shimmy fades or shimmy hooks, I don't really do these. They're not that effective. So you can put these on, but I just never do these. So those are the best post moves. I have not changed them in a very long time. Still really effective. Now we're on to the dribble moves. Now keep in mind, these are like basic and normal dribble moves, but they're still really effective. You can still dribble with these, with like centers. You know, that's why you see all these stretches going up the court, dribbling like point guards and not getting ripped. It's because they still have good dribble moves. Now these aren't the pro dribble moves because you don't have them unlocked unless you have like a 75 ball control, but these are still really good. So moving crossover, normal two, I switched out between normal two and normal three. Both of them work very well. Moving behind the backs, normal three. This one is probably the most important out of all of these. This behind the back animation right there, because you're so big, it creates a lot of space. So you can dribble up the court with it and just get past people like that if they don't know you're gonna do it. Moving spins, basic two, you can combo this out of like behind the backs or just pretty much out of everything. Dribbling, just like how you normally would, just everything is a little bit slower. Moving hesitations, normal three. Now I'm not a stretch, so I don't really step back for threes or anything like that, but this seems to work the best for me just for creating space. Standing size up combos, normal six. This gives you those, you know, between the leg animations. Now I cannot speed boost out of this, you know, I'm a seven, three center, but this is what gives you those between the leg animations. Moving size up 
combos. I don't really do this too much. I put that on normal nine. Park size ups, you can't even unlock them. And all the rest of these, they're not really effective with these like, you know, non-dribbling builds. The main three are the crossover, the behind the back and the spin. Those are gonna be your best friends, you know, out of all of these. So I did not change anything below park size ups on this player. Now we're on to the dunks and layups. Now this is probably more important now than it has ever been in 2K because of the new patch, you know, because of the new shot contests, the blocks on layups or just the contests on layups and dunks have got buffed a lot. So if you end up not doing the right animation for a layup or a dunk, you're probably gonna get blocked layups we have default big i really don't unlock any layup packages so this is the default one it works fine for me i've seen a lot of people complain they've been missing wide open layups in this patch you know i missed one today they're gonna start doubling you won't you score yeah. like four point there you go that's how you do it <gasps> oh, yeah! But unfortunately, that's the only layup package. I don't know if it's the package or if it's just 2K being weird, but literally missing open layups. All right, now the dunk packages matter a lot. Now, my personal experience with dunk packages is that the higher that you put it on the list, you know, there's 15 different dunk packages that you can equip. The higher you put them, the more likely you are to get that animation. Now, pretty much every animation up to this point, every single person can unlock, right? You know, just you unlock it by default, but all the dunk packages really depend on what kind of build you have. And like I was saying, these are the best animations for pretty much every non-dribbling build. Now, I put all of my under the basket dunk packages at the top because you know say i get past somebody with a post move or say i'm just in the paint I don't want to get blocked. If I've worked to get myself in that position, I want to get the best animation possible. So I put all my under the baskets up there. Check if you have any under the baskets unlocked. Like even on my play sharp, I get one under basket dunk and I put it as number one and it actually works out really well. Obviously, I'd rather prefer to do a dunk rather than a layup if I'm already in the paint. You know, layups get blocked. They can be slow. All that different stuff. You know, you can rely on these animations more than every possible animation in this layup package. Everything down from there is all the driving dunks. Now, I don't drive and dunk that much unless I get past my man that far from the hoop. It's probably different for someone like a stretch where you're starting out there anyway. So if you're gonna be driving, you're definitely gonna take a driving dunk. But rim grazers I've had good experiences with and I put my basic, you know, one handers off two, two handers off one, basically all of those. And all the rest of these are just hangs. And then the last one is big man off two, which I found to be probably one of the slowest. So I put it at the bottom. And I only unlock 14 dunk packages. That's why I have nothing at 50. Like I said, depending on what build you have, it's going to be different. I don't unlock any alley-oop dunks or contact dunks, but check to see if you do because i actually didn't know i unlocked big man contact dunks on this build you know i'm a post score i'm a shot creating post you know i'm not like an athletic or even slashing post but i have big man contact dunks on this build and this helped so much when i equipped them you know what i mean if i babied my man all the way down to the paint to the point to where he was under the basket sometimes he would still get contests but now it mostly just gives me these contact dunk animations and i'm a shot creating post so if you're pretty much any center check to see if you have those but that's about it you guys can see i mean every Everything left is just park dunks and like flashy passes like none of these really matter if you're stretch big these dribble moves are your best friend you know these are going to help you that's why three centers is even possible in this game because stretches can dribble with these dribble moves and if you're a post scorer even like a glass king or athletic finisher these are going to help you a lot all right so now that you guys have seen the best animations for bigs for non-dribbling archetypes especially the best post moves i want to show you guys what these look like in action now i chose this gameplay because i am literally one v one the same exact build as me a center shot creating post now probably not as good as me but his build can do everything mine can so it's not like i'm playing a guard or a power forward where i play a lot differently first thing he's playing me too high i'm gonna post spin him don't get him right away but i'm in a perfect position for a drop step gonna put up the layup slash hook whatever you want to call it next play he's playing way too high he tries to pull the chair easy dunk right there those dunks really do come in handy like if i did a layup there he probably had a chance of blocking it gonna try to post spin and again i'm tired gonna fade with that fade number three of course you guys already know that's green and then next Next play, I'm gonna fade to the opposite direction. So like I said, these fade animations, like fade three is not just one fade, it's a fade package, right? So there's different directions you can fade and I have takeover, so the game is over. <laughs> you guys probably already know what happens here. You know, he's playing me too high, I'm gonna post spin him. If he plays me too low, uh, I'm gonna drop step him or whatever, you know, I can just easily get animations whenever I want. I'm cutting out the fouls. I mean, almost everybody fouls, you know, that dunk going in right there. Almost everybody fouls when a post score has takeover. I don't blame them. 
probably the best takeover in the game other than maybe like the stretch but yeah this is what these post moves can do i literally had to score like three or four times i got takeover and you guys already know what that means the game is over i barely had to do that much this game i didn't even do all the post moves that i did and by no means is this game like a post tutorial but i want to show you guys what these actually do look like in action you know, i didn't even show the actual animations when i was going through them but like i said if you guys want that post tutorial make sure you drop a like the toxic post tutorial oh my gosh this game is great thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully this helped you guys go watch some more videos they're gonna be in the outro and i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace